What's going on, y'all? What is going on? Thank you for choosing once again to click on the channel. This is Oil Oil. I am simply here to do my job. Get the messages to the collective. Okay, so I'm going to do the um, full moon and Virgo read. This is going to be for everybody. Okay, I'm not time stamping. I'm not going to break it down. Um, please, guys, only take what resonates. I'm only here to give it to you so you can have it. We're all stars in our own show, but this may or may not be for you. So we're going to jump right into it because um, I do want to get out some other messages today. But <clears throat> um, this will be the full moon in Virgo, the worm moon. OK, and I had did a, uh, a little bit of pre pulling already and then I'll pull some more. Um, but this is Lego. Of the ego for Momo, okay? So, a lot of us have been experiencing, you know, the ego death, okay? I had immediately picked up on someone that could be, if they're not actually hoarding um, some finances, some property, something, um, you know, that's starting to change. Somebody's realizing that they have to um, keep a balance of almost giving to receive, Okay, so I don't know if you're starting to experience that because I was going to start off with um, the earth signs, but everything was coming out and it was just like, no, we're just going to make it a full moon collective message. Okay, so only take what you need. Um, and where was I at? Okay, so I typed in the worm um, and it says the worm spirit animal is considered a spiritual groundskeeper. Ain't that crazy? You know. Earth sign, whatever. Just like the just like the snake spirit animal, worm symbolism shows you that by interacting with the world around you, you are also nourishing your body, mind, and soul. It allows you that even the smallest, gentlest, and shyest people have the capacity to demonstrate great love. Okay, and this is exactly what I had got when I had pulled. Um, it was basically like, you know, in order to receive something that's coming in for a lot of people um you first have to be of course always give gratitude always you know be grateful for what you do have but you can't be hoarding stuff okay and i had pulled on somebody that could just be like somebody's in you know in love with that paper they hug their paper they sleep with it um you know, but maybe somebody's starting to see in order to give you have to also release it has to be a flow and it's a part of like the natural order of things. So I'm going to look up this card I got. If I can find it. It's way in the back. Okay, so basically um, this card is signifying somebody that's holding tightly on to some type of, some type of material possessions. OK, this could also make himself immobile, which, you know, if you constantly holding on to something, um, nothing else can come in. OK, and I had picked this up yesterday about being able to release certain things that no longer are um, a part of, you know, the new life that you want or something that's coming in. So um, reverse this card actually comes out with generosity. Uh, philanthropy, spiritualism, friendship, balance in life, abil ability to move forward, and companionship, okay? And it's crazy because it's like whoever this person is is fixated on wealth, and maybe this person had to understand, you know, if you are in love with your wealth, you really are not in love with every everybody else around you. So basically, whoever this is, or who it could be, the energy, um, was holding on to a lot of material items and possessions, believing that this is what was going to bring something in for him. And so I kept on pulling, and I seen that um, the chakras right now at this time that are very important are your root chakra, your crown chakra, and um, your heart chakra, okay? So basically, um, as far as your root, this is um, symbolizing safety, survival, grounding, nourishment, 
and all of it is receiving, you know, Mother Earth's blessing, the energy of receiving, um, all having everything that you need. Okay, and it's crazy because I look over and it says barefoot. So I don't know if you drink barefoot wine or if you have been walking barefoot on earth, in the pavement, whatever you're doing um, in the land, somebody could be walking barefoot. And then it came out about um, what the cow or the bull symbolizes. Okay, I don't know if everybody knows it, but there was a real special sacred connection to... Um, bulls, different animals, you know, back in the day. So, um, and it's crazy because right on top of it is a crow, y'all. It's like while I'm, you know, while I'm going through the messages, I'm getting other messages. So I'm, I'm trying to slow down. But it's, um, it's very important to heal your root chakra at this time. Um, I know this was what was causing a lot of uproars, different people not having, you know, the necessities or a stable home and foundation and stuff like that. And you seeing if you are on the up and up of things, um, you know, if you gave, if you clothed your brother or fed your sister, if you did anything for people, um, you're going to receive some form of prosperity right now. And this is in order for you to continue the cycle of giving and receiving. Okay, so I had got, um, I don't know, somebody need to worry about some insurance or what's going on. Okay, so, uh, hold on, it's showing stones. I, don't, I didn't ask for that, but maybe this is what you could be working with. I don't really work with stones yet. I got a few of them, but I haven't been, you know, I don't really get into it too much but um you got let me make sure i have all of them okay your um third eye okay invokes your intuition extrasensory perception and inner wisdom so maybe you are also focusing on i'm not sure you know how how it works for everybody else but you know, if you if you meditate and if you write and if you working on your healing, you know that, it, you know, you will start to have a new vision or new perception of things. So it's also seeing um, your throat chakra, learning to self-express yourself like in a healthy manner, not necessarily throwing daggers at different people, but expressing the truth, your creative expression, communication, um, different forms and patterns of how you feel without, you know, necessarily bringing swords. But sometimes that truth do hurt. OK, but it, like I said, it came back up about the importance of bulls, um, different cows, cattle. And then your chakras came out. Also about not um, necessarily focusing anymore on what it is that you've already lost or what you feel like has has gone. OK, because in order to step into this new power or whatever it is you have, know that there are some people that are under judgment. Um due to a level of greed there was not balance and this judgment that's coming out you guys this is some some forms of judgment are coming out like just lessons okay but some people are really not really having their heart weighed um i'm not sure if a lot of people know that but um there is some balance that's coming on the land okay and it's a lot of a, a lot about barefoot energy um not necessarily having to fight without knowing who the enemy is or just knowing who's doing this or who's doing that, things are being revealed. So imagine you out on the battlefield and you have, you know, your, your eye, you blinded, your third eye blind, your third eye is blinded, you're spiritually blinded, or you don't know who it is that you're swinging on. Okay. Things like this are being revealed under this moon in order for you to let go for things to come in. Okay. Not necessarily trying to juggle, um, uh, wealth, stability, or different things like that. Also having to juggle if you're going to continue on in some type of fight here. So we're just going to pull some cards. Um, these are really powerful, but another message that I get, um, it's something really important coming up about shoes. Okay. So I don't know if like everybody, I mean, it's, it's what it is with me. Like I, I don't have any you know, I don't feel no type of way about telling my story, but I always had like the 
you know, if, if I did get some shoes, they were some Nikes. I wasn't necessarily like the Jordan or whatever, whatever. But something is coming up about different shoes that you could be wearing when you hit the land. Okay, so I had talked about it already. You know, if you're consecrating your shoes, wipe your shoes off, make sure that you anoint your shoes, different things like that. And then also purchasing the shoes that you wear. Um, be mindful of that. You know, who's actually making these shoes? What's the name on these shoes? All of this is big and important for some reason. OK, because they actually showed me a pair of loafers. Um, I, don't, I don't know what kind of loafers they were, but they was like brown. And I don't know if y'all remember, but like, you know, back in the day, there was like just regular little loafers. Um, I don't know if they like suede and then they had like the shoe strings of the shoe strings was kind of different. I don't know. I think it was suede too, but it's something about shoes, um, you know, hitting the land, being barefoot and, uh, yeah, so we're going to see. And then I got, uh, Vado, something about a stiff brother or a stiff friend. Okay. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's supposed to be the it's a Spanish slang, okay, but it means buddy, guy, or dude, but sometimes it can seem vulgar and offensive. So I don't know if it's, you know, pertaining to certain people that you may call friends, um, some type of encounter that somebody could have had, but we have a stiff bottle. So we're going to see. Um, I'm going to read some of these out of this book. And then we're just going to pull some cards, okay? But this is most definitely the time. I don't know if this is, uh, you know, we, we do know the earth sign is, you know, all about material possessions, but. I just want to see. Um. And then the crow keeps coming up. And to me, I, I you know, the relationship with them is bittersweet because, you know, when I first started my journey, it was more so, you know, they'll be everywhere. Like, oh, oh, and I don't know if, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's the ones that's for me or the ones that's not. And they started getting on my nerves. But it's like certain times when somebody's like secretly trying to be in my energy or somebody's riding past or somebody could be trying to cast something. It's like they let me know. And then I have the ones that are like more on the monitoring side of things. And I was like, you know, I really don't even mess with them, you know? But then it was, um, one time I was on, um, I was getting a ride from somebody from church and, you know, I was still on, I was still on the up and up trying to see who I could trust in. And, you know, I was still trusting that I was being led and out of nowhere, it was like, I don't know if it was like a raven or it almost looked like a hawk or eagle. It was so huge to the point where I literally got shook. I was scared, but it came right in front of the vehicle of the car that I was in and it was flying like right by us. It was almost like we was going to hit it. You know, it was going to go through the windshield, but it didn't. And I was just taken back because during that time, the conversation we was having was basically us telling our plans. And, you know, sometimes you, you know, keep quiet on what you plan to do. But it was like we was talking about the plans that we wanted to do with somebody. And this big, I'm telling y'all, I don't, I've never seen something so huge, like whatever it was. I was like, it's an eagle, it's an eagle. And they was like, no, nah, it ain't gonna be an eagle here. But whatever kind of bird this was, it was like guiding and it was letting me know like, hey, I'm here and maybe you need to be quiet. But it was so big. And my connection from there started with, you know, me opening up my eyes to just how serious certain things are and just how much, you know, protection some of us do have. So I don't know if you are connected to crows or what, um, if you're being, you know, starting to listen to them or certain times that they could be crowing and you out and somebody comes up to you and that person, you know, may be on something, maybe a crow, a crow or something like that. Okay. And then it's coming up about different sugar. Um, I don't know if y'all check my board sometimes, but I have been talking about the sugar. If you're not using, um, you know, all natural brown sugar, something, the, the, something's up with the sugar, okay? Because I actually went backwards and bought a bag and it was like more powder left on the bottom. So I don't know if they cutting the sugar with something or what they doing, okay? But it wasn't grainy. It wasn't actual sugar, okay? So it says, um, 
it's coming up again about uh, native tribes and stuff like that. Okay, a lot of, you already know a lot of you are connected to certain land, um, and also your ancestors are native. Okay, so let me go back and look and see what I was looking up. Okay, and this is also like tending to the ground. Okay, I don't know if some of you are actually into farming or starting your own, you know, crops or whatever, but it is coming up about how important it is to do your groundskeeping, um, maybe even keeping your area clean, your yards clean, different things like that. Um, and it's saying spiritual meaning of seeing this worm keeps a veil of mystery about you and keeps people on their toes. And it's crazy because I had got toes. So something real important about feet. And I was like, OK, well, maybe, you know, of course, you know, the earth sign Virgo, whatever. You were supposed to stay grounded during this time. OK, not necessarily letting certain people play games or whatever. But I kept getting that it is a death of the ego. OK, so. It's also about how you are interacting with the world, um, you know, when it comes to, I, I believe I'm picking up on when it comes to, you know, like I told y'all, you smoke and you're throwing cigarette butts, you know, doing little simple things like that. Yeah, and then, you know, having respect, if you are going to visit someone at the grave site, you know, not necessarily stepping all on everybody else. It's a way of doing things, okay? I don't know if somebody needed to hear that, um, but you could be really disappointed in things that you're doing, you know, to disrespect the land and you don't know about it. So, uh, you got, you know, not necessarily being disappointed over misfortunes, because if you are continuing to be disappointed over you know, misfortunes, you are going to miss new opportunities. Okay. So it's coming out, moving forward and accepting, um, help, forgiveness and emotional release. You also got, uh, sorry, I got my little things in, um, having accomplishments, defined expectations, physical strength and authority, unity, cooperation, spiritual protection, New ideas, breakthroughs, intellectual ability, victory, mental clarity, force, and focus. Okay? And this is like signifying, uh, you know, the entire world. Like I said, the Earth's vibration is changing. Okay? So if people are still on foolery, know that the ancestors, the most high God, and everybody that's, you know, on the up and up is going to make sure that things are changing out here. It could seem one way, but it's most definitely something different going on, folks. Okay? And I, and that's crazy because you got noon on top on top. Um, let me just check her out. It's a beautiful card. And it's, you know, all about your crown chakra. Um, your third eye and your root. Choosing to accept things for what they are. Um, and I'm looking up on no more. Yeah, so it's the goddess of the sky and cosmos, a maternal deity and the mother of gods. She's often represented in Egyptian hieroglyphs. And it's crazy. He really, he ruled the elder. Um, Newt that came out is basically signifies the same thing. And she had came out on the computer and I wasn't going to bring her up. But she's like, no, nah, I'm here. Okay, so this is um, having faith, okay, in it came out to not have discouragement, disconnection, self-trust, insecurity. And this is what it's saying, okay? It's like let go of your ego, but have confidence in yourself and what you're doing, okay? So upright, she's hope, faith, rejuvenation, purpose, renewal, spiritual guidance, feminine power, material, maternal instinct, okay, opportunity, um, and it's saying, you know, basically if you holding on to what's in your hands, how can you catch what's coming, okay? This is going to cause you to have a lack of opportunity or a lack of direction when you constantly focus on the old. So we're going to pull some old and see what we need to know. But yeah, this is let go of the ego in order to bring in some more. 
still still Vado. Okay, so maybe you could have been dealing with, you know, certain friends that could be stiff neck when it comes to you changing how you see things, your perspective, what you're doing in life. Um, but you got to know if it's on the up and up, your whole team's going to come with you. Okay. Yeah, I feel like somebody could be planning something right now, literally, and this doesn't necessarily have to be physically, spiritually, you've been working hard on something, and it's like you having to leave a couple people behind, and this is not even a couple, um, yeah, this is two people, okay, this is like tired of, tired of fighting with a couple people, and I feel like these could be friends, um, I don't see family at the time. These people could be in despair or they are walking away from some type of warfare that was happening. Yeah, because new rules is coming in. OK, so something could be coming up about some paperwork um, involving some type of dispute um, involving some type of land. Yeah, someone was trying to hold on to they was juggling and holding on to something. And this is what I'm saying. When it comes to change, because you got the number five out here. When it comes to this change, and then you have 10. So, yeah, it's a, the circle of life. Like, literally, all of this is coming back around. Um, trying to hold on and juggle something is going to cause somebody to lose more than what they thought they would lose if they would just, you know, assist or give or, you know what I'm saying, donate. You know, and donate with love because some people don't like donating with love. They'll try to put some stuff on it and give it to you just because they done worn it out already. So we got um, the energy of segment, which she's coming out in reverse. And to me, this is this is this is simply, you know, everything does not have to be destroyed in order for new things to come in. Do you see what I'm saying? Every bridge does not have to be burned in order for us to rebuild new bridges okay and this is you know <laughs> this is basically like the energy of segment is coming straight for the people that are not only wicked in their ways but they're not keeping some form of balance when it comes to everybody you know we all we are yeah and it's like the most high is not getting ready to He's over everybody. He's judging all type of people. Um, like I said, hearts are being weighed. Even, and I heard that somebody has said this because they like, you know, and I always say, are we ever really that close? But you know, when you are a certain way in life, you're going to see other people's pain and suffering um, simply due to maybe you moving past some lessons or you learning karmic lessons or you breaking cycles. And there are certain people that you may have been around that have to change some type of way because now you are included on, in this kingdom, okay? And I also got something about um, UK, United Kingdom, but I feel like this is just simply United, you know, Earth, the land, us, okay? Our people, it's just what it is. And it was crazy because I also picked up like the curse of the mummy, those who have tampered with different um, ancestors or you know, tombs or if you dig in graves, period, and you're not doing it to seek some type of justice or, you know, with, there's no longer that, you know, digging to see who's who or experimentation. These people have literally brought a curse on themselves by going within the land to pull up those that who should have been, you know, been able to lay the rest. Okay. I don't, I don't know how to say that, but yeah. So somebody could be 50 here or in your 50s. You could be learning new knowledge about things um, pertaining to your ancestors, the way that, you know, they used to do things, maybe using your spiritual gifts. And I don't know why I keep getting this groundskeeper. OK, so it could be some people that are actually under judgment that are over different, um, you know, if it's not funeral homes, it's the actual groundskeeper of those that are supposed to be taking care of, of certain land. So what's that for? We're going to see seven. Okay, I'm also getting seven, five, four. So I don't know if you have a connection to that, but we're going to see. Um, yeah, and then it's also coming up too about different electromagnetic fields. Um, 
you know, the, the, the many devices that people have been using, they can't use it anymore. It's, you know. Okay, so something's coming up with our moon time. Uh, what is Getty, y'all? Getty? I spelled that wrong. Okay, different photo photo agencies. Um, Royalty-free stock. Something about stock. Illustrations. Uh, where is it? Los Angeles is coming up. Entertainment, sports. Museums, a Michael, Keith, Almighty Rings, emissions and registration. Okay, so we're just going to keep on seeing what they got. Um, Yeah, somebody's being told to tread lightly. Okay, and I feel like it's tread lightly on trying to do something on this moon that you know is against uh, certain people, the land or whatever, if you're trying to create some type of imbalance, it's not going to work. Um, a lot of these people that have been holding on, this is like literally somebody's hugging their paper. They sitting there and they hugging their paper. I don't know if it's old money, new money, um, different artifacts, gold, uh, jewels, gems, stones. It's like they have to give this up. They have to give it to their rightful owners or whoever it belongs to. That's crazy. Um, so you got faith. Yeah, have faith that the hocus pocus ain't gonna work. It's, it's, it's they've been doing the most. It's the hocus pocus ain't gonna work anymore. Okay. I don't know why you got smooth operator again. Okay. So I don't know if somebody's still, you know, playing on phones or this person is into some type of uh, sales representative position. This came out yesterday. It's like all these different companies that have been doing this, maybe even trying to rob steal or whatever, whether they doing it blue collar, white collar, green collar, brown collar, because they don't, they don't wipe their neck. Regardless, this is coming out. Okay. Also, um, certain people having a haven or a safe haven. Okay. Came out about different shrines and altars, those places that you do, you know, devote time to the Holy Spirit to or your different deities, ancestors, um, you know. And then I had picture y'all. Imagine somebody having a shrine of themselves. I don't know who did this, but I think somebody literally got like a a, a whole table or altar full of their pictures. Um, yeah, like, I don't know. It's, I don't know. Somebody literally is just, you know, it, 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 that's why it came out. Let go of that ego. Okay. You gotta let go of that ego. The ego dope. It has to go. Um, something came up too about Tommy Hilfiger. Okay. Which is crazy. Cause I had actually had one of them shirts the other day. And then I got to thinking, didn't dude just go through the most. Cause he had a lot of racist shit to say. It's like these people that you are putting money into don't care about you or your well-being, okay? So whether it's shoes, clothes, makeup, um, hairstylists, different things that you are purchasing, they have these different energies on them and they're not good for you, okay? It's just all it is to it. I know a lot of us don't want to believe that this is how far some people go to use their hocus pocus foolery, but... You know, your birth date or your birth pattern, your, your whatever. A lot of these people already know it because they they have spied spiritually for generations to see who's the lineage of certain people that they are, you know, trying to tamper with. Um, and the pattern is being broken. OK, all the vow stuff that they did, trying to get advances on some things that belong to you, um, trying to, you know, receive some type of pleasure. It's not going to work. Yeah, the song came up about Tommy Hilfiger, and I was like, I, I know for a fact, you know, dude wasn't even really messing with nobody for real. It's like these big name labels, um, they not they not really messing with you, but they want to try to, you know, get the money of the culture. It's all about the culture, the culture, the culture, you know, but you don't respect the culture of the people of the culture. And not only that, y'all have took everything that belongs to our ancestors and y'all using it against certain people simply because they vulnerable and they don't know who they are. OK, so it's like a storm is already here, y'all. I don't I don't know. Like I said, these cars, they they powerful. I don't use them all the time. But the messages that's coming in, it's like, seriously, the war is on those who are choosing to still be 
you know, a, a, a harbor or a hoarder of material and spiritual possessions that do not belong to them. Okay, something else is coming up about a croc. And I had seen that because I pulled that croc out so many times. And like, who ever heard of somebody, you know, getting attacked by simply walking their dog? Like, the stuff that's been going on, if y'all cannot see that, you know, things are changing, I don't even know what to tell nobody. But we're going to see. Yeah, so this is almost who I'm picking up, like the items that certain people have. This is why I say it's important to watch who you're accepting gifts from, who you're accepting items from, shoes, clothes, anything, um, because some people go so far. But this is like the items that certain people have, right? Um, you know, it's going to cause them to have some type of literally hex a curse simply because, you know, it was either stolen from, from a level of greed or this is just what they're doing. You know, they having misfortune due to holding on to something, okay? They knocking off the balance of things by simply holding on to things that they don't belong to you. Um, yeah, that's what it is. It's a lot of root, root and crown magic. Um, and, it, it, and if it's, you know, not putting it towards that, it could literally just be, you know, coming against people and their stability, um, playing mind games, doing different, using different weaponized technology. Whatever they're trying to do will not work. Like, I don't know. Like, literally, God has had enough. I know. Okay. Something, too, about a party, watching certain parties that you could go to. I would, um, actually picked up a concert, and I didn't even know. You know what I'm saying? I don't say no names on it because I don't want nobody to get no, you know what I'm saying? But it's like these parties, these concerts, different places that you go in. Like, watch that because you don't know that you are like an electrical current. You, Your energy, your vibration, your aura, wherever it is that you go. If you are, you know, somewhere that you're not supposed to be spiritually and you there physically, things can happen that don't make sense. And I have seen it a couple times where, you know, people will show up, they'll go to a party. You think you're going to be able to make it back to your kids or your children. And guess what happens? Something happened. Okay, it's already something that's lined up spiritually for, you know, the party to get sprayed or somebody to come up missing or somebody to get their drinks tampered with or somebody to get in a fight and get jumped. You know, these certain things are, are caused by spiritual enemies. Okay, it's just all it is to it. I mean, it's no way around it. Okay, I'm also getting like paralyzed, uh, paraplegic or how do you say it? Yeah, somebody is like still starstruck though. This is like, oh my God, the concert tickets are on sale for 900. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody's still starstruck to the point where you can get struck. And it's crazy because, you know, nobody talks about the mind boggling things, but I had um, actually picked up, you know, the, um, I was saying the electrocution, but the, um, the lightning strikes and stuff, okay? And it's like, if you go and do your research and you realize that there was a lot of people that used to get struck by lightning and I feel like it was literally because they was getting their ass struck, like wake up. Do you see what I'm saying? Like imagine you doing something you ain't got no business doing and God's just trying to wake you up and be like, man, send a thunderbolt down there on his ass. See if it, see if he'll wake up then. You, he ain't supposed to be there. Somebody's trying to set him up or somebody's trying to do this or somebody's trying to do that. And then I got to thinking about the dome. I'm like a lot of, a lot of that stuff, you know, it has slowed down and stopped. Um, simply because, you know, what they're doing within the skies and stuff like that. It's like the control that they want and they cannot have this total control. Okay, so you want to most definitely work on having the control over you, your energy, where you go, who you helping, um, you know, who you loving, everything. Okay, somebody needs to hear that. Like, you worried about this concert or you still, you still struck on an idol or somebody you idolizing and then God is a jealous guy. Oh, yeah.
Okay, yeah, my fault. Okay, so, you know, God's most definitely a jealous guy, and that's crazy because when I went and washed my hands and stuff, I had um, thought about it because... You know, I used to I used to see celebrities and stuff all the time, but it was like I was one of the people like, all right, cool, yeah, yeah, I, you know, I like your music and all that, but it ain't for me to be like, oh my god, ah, you're my idol. You know what I'm saying? How can you idolize anything? But you you're not ready to see what's really going on. That your energy is being siphoned, that you're being used to promote someone else other than yourself, and what you're promoting, whether you know it or not. It's not the way of things. Okay, so, and, and trust me, I already know. So you got, uh, red keeps coming up. So it's very important. Like I said, it's the full moon in Virgo. So that red is the root. You know, us being stabilized and having foundations and not worried about, you know, who's trying to get who kicked out of their home, who's secretly, you know, planting cameras or messing with different landlords or, you know, speaking ill on us in different communities. Like all of this stuff is getting ready to be cleaned up and cleared out. Somebody just could have recently got an install or two. Um, something's also coming up about Bill Gates. And it's funny because I had seen something, the, what was it, yesterday? <laughs> then I see something. Let me say this first. I seen something like a couple what was it, a couple months ago, and somebody was like, "Damn, ain't he dead? Him and his wife." So who knows? But you know, y'all know Pfizer is like getting sued for trillions right now because that the supposedly the vaccine was a joke. Okay, not necessarily a joke, but it wasn't. I mean, come on now. I don't know if they were shooting people with water or what. But I had to. I had to fight through it too. You know, a lot of us had to fight hard in 2019. I mean, extremely hard to the point where, you know what I'm saying? We didn't have no choice but to have breakthroughs after that because it wasn't no looking back on what they've been trying to do, how far they're willing to go. But you have something coming up about the Bill Gates Foundation. I don't know if you guys have been, you know, looking into that, um, seeing what type of food we got going on. Let me wipe some sage because, like I said, they own one. This is it. Man, I'm telling you. And I had to say it, but shoot, I, I, Sekhmet literally wanted to destroy, you know, mankind for the wickedness. I don't know what, I don't know what they got going on. So let's see what else we get. Oh, I'm burning it. Okay. Yeah, so let the healing of the heart begin. A lot of people are getting ready to start seeing how important it is. Um you know, sweet, to, to have sweet water. And I don't know why I look and I see the sweet water, okay? And like I said, that divine feminine energy came out, but it came out strong. And also here lately, that's all I've been hearing is the wrath, the wrath, the wrath. Because even, you know, even my own was like, dang, she's fake. Because I'm always trying to be positive, but you know that, you know, both sides can go. <laughs> and everybody can get it. Do you see what I'm saying? But this is literally us clearing out our heart like, okay, yeah, all of this, but let me not hold on to something that has been eating me up for years because what God has for me is way more than what has been shown to me, or way more than what they want you to believe. And this is why they go so hard for it. Nobody's going to go that hard for certain things that, you know, are not valuable. Do you see what I'm saying? Ain't nobody getting ready to do the most. They have completely used any, text, any tactic that they possibly could. If it's not the food, it's the water, it's not that, it's the land. If it's not that, it's the people. If it's not that, it's different, you know, agencies, uh, doctors, uh, the, yeah, the, the whole, the, everything's under judgment. Everything's being weighed. And if it if it's, wants to be cleared out, go ahead. Certain people won't keep on going, go ahead. The troops ain't, the troops, they hurt, but they, most of them are already coming from the sky. Like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to say it. So you got, all I keep seeing is the heart, Okay. Um, you got Palladians out. Telling of the truth. Something about a liquor store. Okay, so that's something else that you see on the land. A lot of things, you know, that... And it's, it's, it's a mess because it's placed and set up certain ways for... You know, at first, you know, we was talking about, yeah, well... Certain people get to come and they don't have to pay taxes and whoop, whoop, but you got to see how it's happening. 
okay? They're not coming with libraries, um, gymnasiums, boys and girls clubs, um, you know, healthcare centers that are not going to use you as an experiment and use, you know, pharmaceuticals and drugs and shit that don't make sense or secretly, you, you know, do things to you that they're not supposed to do simply because they don't know what the hell they're talking about. I mean, literally, you seeing people that are getting caught up because they was pretending to be nurses and doctors. Since when is it okay to trust all these people? I'm still trying to figure it out. Y'all let me know if y'all got it. Anybody got it? Anybody got it yet? Like, literally, at this time, question everything and everybody. But it's like it was set up for, you know, the liquor store, at the liquor store, a bank, the liquor store, a liquor store, the bank, the liquor store, the liquor store, a jail, a bank, the liquor store, a liquor store, check cash in place, a liquor store, a pawn shop, pawn shop, liquor store, a pawn shop, pawn shop, pawn shop, liquor store, a pawn shop. Do you get what I'm saying? There was nothing beneficial placed around certain people for a reason. Hell, a lot of people are just now seeing that Walmart was on some evil shit because why are y'all only placing Walmart certain places? But you got to have one somewhere, right? Because you don't want to provide a grocery store or uh, fresh food markets or herb shops or anyone, anywhere someone can go and, and receive some type of peace where they can go plug up laptops and stuff. Why do certain people have to go to McDonald's to plug their laptop up for free Wi-Fi? Do you see how this was all placed around certain areas simply because the greed of the land is, is getting called out, y'all, I'm telling you. And it's going to be quick process, but in order to receive whatever it is that you want, you got to clean your heart. You got to forgive. Yeah, you know, shit happened, but it ain't going to happen anymore. Do you see what I'm saying? Put that in your head. Put that in your head that, yes, it took place, but it cannot take place again. Some of you had to experience some of the most wicked, hurtful, doggish behavior. And sometimes several times in order to see. It is you who you looking for. Okay, so I'm coming up to about different sports. Okay, there, there shouldn't be no reason where, you know, your son's quick to say, hey, I want to play basketball, football, because they feel like that's the only offer that they have us, the only way that they can be valuable and not have to worry about being a target to local police officers. It's going to change whether people are ready or not. I got to calm my nerves a little bit, y'all, because... I, I have a son. I already know, you know, and that was the beginning thing. Hey, I want to play sports. Why do they have to box or get hit or shoot a ball through a hoop? Why do they become easy, 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 easy targets within these, these schools that don't want to teach them anything and, and get mad and target them simply because they may be more advanced. Our children deserve the same opportunities, if not more. And that's the thing. We was on this little equal, equal, you know, we want to be equal to. No, we, we don't have to be equal to something we already, you know, succeed in or... Superstated, we we passed a lot of this. You know, when I woke up, I'm like, dang, I've been asleep for a long time. God forgive me for, for those that, you know, probably needed me when I was in my right mind and not dealing with so much trauma, but something got to give. Something has to give. They can be bitter all they want to. They want to be dishonest in all their business. You know, everybody want to... They got to either chip some off the top, take a little bit before you notice, or they got to pass your information around like you. No, we're not crash. We're not cash crops anymore. And it got me thinking, why are y'all moving in all these other people? Because y'all know that we ain't getting ready to do it no more. Moving into entrepreneurships, owning land and not having to pay, you know, more taxes on stuff simply because y'all feel like y'all got to have a piece of everything. Somebody could be even publishing a book right now. 
Yeah, Yahshua. They are coming back. Our ancestors are already here strong within a lot of y'all. And a lot of y'all are still, you know, is this real? Contemplating. I know how scary it is. Man, I used to, I'm going to tell you, I used to try to drink until I black out because I didn't want to feel my gifts. I didn't want to keep seeing the visions of certain people hurting or feeling the pain of others simply because, you know, they don't, they didn't experience so much pain that they don't know anything else. Why do we have to experience so much pain till we numb to it? Why do we have to be strong? For what? Life is the battle that, that was created by the enemy. Our Heavenly Father and spiritual teams and ancestors didn't want this. This is why they paved the way and put place feet on this land a long time ago. There's nothing new under the sun. All they can do is rebuild on top of, rebuild on top of, and rebuild on top of it. It's the same land. Yeah, all I keep seeing is justice. And it's crazy because Shango popped up, Mayat popped up, Sekhmet popped up. I heavenly father and mother that do. They're not playing. How can you get all that in one read? It's also speaking too on um, not being so deceivable. It's a lot of people that are catching spiritual karma. Okay, so when they come around and they trying to trick you with a smile or, or make it seem like, you know, I always believed in you. You know, and it's not coming as those that you already know and have been shown. It's going to come in new folks, but they're still the same deceptive spirit. It's almost like seeing, are you still vulnerable or still open to being deceived again? And I know a lot of people, you know, you got good hearts with all of us, but hey, I don't know why I'm getting Uma Thurman too. Like, what was that, Kill Bill? A lot of a lot of females have took so much. I don't know if you're building your body up, if you going into combat. I don't know what you're doing, okay? But I know things are changing. Simple because enough is enough. The stages of torment. Different people want to spiritually, you know, traumatize you. Um, all of it, it's not going to be beneficial. It may have been for a long time. They keep talking about doomsday. Yeah, it is doom for y'all. They trying to figure it out. Come on now. I seen it. What was it? Uh, this morning. In my, my Even in my old state. It was somebody that found a whole bunker under their home. At first, they were trying to hide from the land. Like, <laughs> imagine trying to hide from the land within the land. And you don't think Mother Earth is going to open it straight up. So you could be revealed. kind of sick it is and nobody out here singing la, 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 a lullabies okay but it is time to be happy i mean the the suffering wasn't for anything every tear that you cried has already been recorded it didn't matter if they traced the whole uh number lines and dots and colored in squares and circles uh, in your destiny what is for you will be for you Something about Romans again. They keep coming up. Uh, American Idol. You see what I'm saying? Even shows like that. Certain uh, people that are, you know, they go and they pull. At first, I used to like it because you can watch it and you can watch the uh, the tryouts or whatever. You know, when people come in, and, boy, you be like, dang, I wish I had this type of cousins. <laughs> they come in, they, they do their little thing and you know, you get to see it. It'd be funny, but at least they tried. You see what I'm saying? But it's like, there's so much talent. There's so many people that are, are spiritually equipped to help a lot of things, people, places, whatever. And those are the ones that have been targeted for so long that some of them woke up like, you know what? You keep poking the bird. You're not going to get any honey. That's it. What was that, Pillsbury? Woohoo! We're not woohooing no more. You know, but you catch somebody that has been through a lot of pain and struggle and they do that one cry out and you feel a wind. You don't think God loves his people and is not getting ready to ride in on something? 
Mm-mm. Something about the councils too. I was actually watching the movie. I can't even remember. Did I write it down? Um, some of these anime, it wasn't even anime, but it was like a Japanese cartoon. And it was basically, it was involving nine tails or whatever. And it was the spirit of, um, you know, it was a little girl, but she was attached and binded to a spirit of who was considered a beast. Okay. And her life was spurred, um, for this one warrior, because he's like, you know, everybody deserves a chance at peace, happiness, love, compassion, being able to feel stable and free and not experience the level of traumatization that we have because it has succeeded far past, you know, what people like to call slavery. That's what I'm saying. Like, y'all talking about chains. The mental chains that have been on us for the longest time has really been what shook up everything. Certain people really have been in their own level of prison due to what they have felt. And I'm talking about that pain where you can go and get a whole body tattoo covered up in everything and take it like it's nothing simply because you done felt emotional pain that you can't even explain. A spiritual pain that you can't even run out and tell somebody about because they'll try to label you as nuts. But you know it happened. You know you felt it. Come on now. Everybody knows. <laughs> Everybody knows. So you got to continue to look for the truth um, something about somebody's pipes could be blocked. I don't know if it's a saying like um, sewage or whatever. Some people could be around areas where you know it's rains coming through. The city took the money. You took the money, right? Why is it not, you know, y'all not tending to the streets or cleaning the streets or, you know, making sure there ain't no potholes or somebody got to tear up their vehicle they just bought and get y'all to pay for it. You see what I'm saying? Where are the pentacles flowing to? If you are receiving it, stuff around the land should be different. There shouldn't be no breaking of the backs. Just being really selfish. Something about the Pope and the families of the Pope. Um, you know, when we, we know that there have been people that not only like, not necessarily worship, but just went to see the Pope, like, you know, thousands upon thousands and thousands and thousands of people. And guess what they do? Some of them probably go home to a tent. There has to be some type of restor restoration. And it's like, they've been holding on. Yeah, host of souls. Yes, it's a battle of, of your soul. Yes, it is hard to dig deep within yourself to the darkest part of you and be like, well, dang. You know, some of you never really had a chance, but you making your way. Now it's time to stand strong in who you are and believe that you went and experienced all of this because you weigh more than what they told you. And I got somebody waiting at the door. I don't know what that is, but somebody could be waiting at the door for something. Yeah, like all these evil money exchanges when people are, you know, you, you go in with premeditated thoughts to go against somebody that obviously has some type of spiritual protection and, and, and wants to do more for those around them. You don't think that that conversation is being heard? Some people are not narcissistic either. Some of them just been through so much grief and trauma, they don't even know how to crack a smile. So at least I can respect somebody they don't even fake it. I used to fake it. Be going through so much pain, but I got a smile on my face. I laugh. I make sure somebody else feel good about they self. There's some people that really have been through so much grief and pain. And then not saying that they hadn't, but they've been isolated and within their walls and not coming out to touch the land simply because somebody has done something to them that they now have the power and strength to talk about. Keep going, y'all. Stand up and talk about it. Some of you have already been chosen. You have been on some type of full stop period. And I think it's that a lot of us are because you still believe in certain uh, maybe people, places, and things. And, and this is why you may have had to be 
you know, churned within your spirit for the 1500th time until you honestly seen that where you were or who you was with or what you were doing or who you was around, whatever, was not a part of you and your purpose or what you're supposed to be doing. You was going to feel that pain. Could have been holding on to some money, a house, a relationship, somebody, because you didn't want something to be destroyed for something better to come in. And I feel like that has been one of the traits, too. Sometimes we hold on to stuff simply because it, it took so long to get it or it took so much hard work and time and pain to receive it that we believe that it's, it was best for us. And then when you lose it, you could be feeling some type of way like, dang, God, why would you do that? But it, you didn't know that it was the enemy the whole time. You still had people, pet places and things that were against what you were doing. I still got these letters on my thing, too. So you got something about the Quran could be coming out. Um, yeah, we learned to like uh, basically take care of our spirit self first. You know, and, and it actually leads to you working on your body. And it happens easily because, you know, you will start eating different and all that. You know, if you're not dealing with all the extra stuff. But it all takes time. It all takes time. Who is anybody to tell you that you are, you know, too late or you can't? No. That's a trick of the enemy. And dang, if you're hearing it from somebody that's close to you, then you know that person could be the enemy. <laughs> like, ain't nobody going to sit there and be so negative, like, trying to drop you when they're supposed to be lifting you. And that goes for anybody, not necessarily a, a love relationship or partnership. And that's crazy because I was going to speak on that too, the locksmith about that. It's, it could be somebody that's under judgment like that. Somebody that has um, access to not just picking locks, but different keys, master keys, uh, locks to doors, stuff like that. And they came back out too. I mean, it's a lot of punishment. We can deny what, what, what it is, but I don't know. You could also be, um, and I picked it, I pulled that card yesterday. Your memories could be um, getting on block right now, um, you know, and hopefully you find a healthy outlet to deal with them because when it first happened, you know, to me, I, when I tell you, I had to literally picture myself as small as, you know, smaller than a pea in darkness in order to accept and surrender and repent, you know, whatever I did that was not supposed to be or wasn't a part of it or whatever, you know, they, you, it's not up to you to be the judge of yourself because eventually, you know, it's going to come to you like, this is what you did, daughter. This is why it happened. You see what I'm saying? So maybe you in the process of repenting and accepting. I don't know. Somebody could be in, sitting in a form of darkness, feeling like you're not where you're supposed to be, but there's hope there. When I realized that I was in a dark place, but I knew it was with them. I ain't no way. I, I refuse to accept the life that, you know, was being shown or given. And then, you know, if you're an empath, you're going to feel the land anyway. You're going to feel certain people experiencing things and not, you know. And I think the first rap for me was, you know, when my son, he, he drove his uh, four-wheeler down some project steps. You know, and the first thing the hospital did, CPS. And I'm like, hold on now. Why you got a man? I don't even look my baby. But they was like, you know what I'm saying? Because when I seen him, he he wasn't himself. He was quiet. So I was like, I'm getting ready to take you, even though he didn't cry when it happened. But I was like, I'm getting ready to take you to the hospital. I thought it was something wrong with his ear. But they ended up calling CPS. And I was just sitting there like, no money for a lawyer. No one to actually speak on, you know, if I'm a good mother or whatever. Because there wasn't nobody coming around. They'll pop in every now and then to see if I was, you know, down and out. Or, but, I, you know, God always kept us. And it was like when it happened, I realized, you know, I had no connections to lawyers, no connections to real justice. The people that I do knew, did know, you know, they was connected here and there. And my reputation was already fucked and squashed since 
you know, adolescence. So it wasn't nothing that I could actually depend on but God. And I'm like, ain't no way all of this is happening. It was one of my darkest times. And when I tell you, I still held on to that hope. Even looking out my windows, seeing murders every day. It was, it was people getting popped every day, literally. You know, and me and my son, we, you know, hitting the floor because they coming through just shooting. And not only that, you know, I'm getting off work and picking him up from the daycare and I come walking down the street and it's news crews on the corner every other day to the point where one time I was like, man, y'all got to do something about this. I know they thought I was crazy. Like, bitch, please, you in the projects. But damn, is this how it is? You know what I'm saying? Supposed to be a program to, you know, assist people that may need help for real because they're not receiving it from nobody and they want to do something different. Ain't no way. I already knew it was a mission. I was supposed to be placed there because it it changed my life. It absolutely changed my life. I mean, who who you know for real that gives back at least 900 to 1200 on food stamps? I, I called and was like, look, y'all can have this shit back. Whatever God got for me, he going to give it to me. You know, everything else happened on top of that. But when I tell you, I was in a dark place and I said, that's it. That, well, that did it. <laughs> that did it. Yeah, but you could be just, you know, today's the day for you to, you know, if it, if it's some rules you feel like you're breaking, break them as long as you know God is with you. It, it, you know, think outside, step outside of everything else. And I was actually talking about that the other day because it's like, you know, I want to be somewhere where I can go outside and actually run and nobody think I'm running from something or something's wrong or, you know what I'm saying? Like, people will look and just be like, why is she dancing walking down the street? Why is she smiling today? Why does she got a yoga pad sitting outside looking at the sun? You know what I'm saying? People will really be trying to pick you apart simply because you not own what they own or you want something different or you feel it within your soul. Like, yeah, I'm not getting ready to be on what you own, bro. I want to enjoy life the way it was intended to be enjoyed. I don't know. So you got uh well, yeah, Roz out here literally scaring monsters away. And imagine that, you know how some of y'all would have to deal with your children having, you know, nightmares and stuff, and you like, hey, just go back to bed or give them some warm milk. Or some of y'all should, y'all was doing the most, giving them like, sleep syrup and stuff like that, and cough medicine or whatever to make them drowsy. But it's like, until you actually understand that some of these children probably was dealing with spiritual monsters and stuff like come on now y'all have been doing way too much spiritually i can see if i could see your ass you see what i'm saying at least you you a dog in in the light but y'all been dogging in the dark for a long time and now it's not gonna work anymore everything's being revealed it's being a balance that's coming this is also too why they try to you know distract you with everything else going on I don't know why it came up, but I'm going to look it up. I haven't even put a code up yet. Yeah, it's all about a house. And the gold ticket came out. Okay, also, too, about different blessings that's raining in on people. Um, not necessarily having to calculate everything because things are going to happen for you. God, yes, God is truly amazing. Do you hear me? I'm forever grateful. I could care less how I look to people. Who gives a shit? I know half of them couldn't even walk two steps. Two steps. You know, and everybody, it's like everybody has most definitely been through something, but to be a victim and then victimize somebody else, I, I still wouldn't understand that. Purposely for some money, I still I don't want to try to understand that. No. We're supposed to be one by one, two by two out here taking out the enemy, if that's the case. So you got. An application. There could be an officer that's, you know, getting ready to either uh, quit, resign or something. And I had to, I seen something about that too because, like I said, I have I've had friendships um, 
with a, a white officer one time is because I used to work in the gas station field. And it was like, you have those officers that really want to make a difference and a change, but you know, it's so hard for everybody out here. And that's why I say it doesn't matter what badge, what uniform, what color you were, uh, who you rocking with, who you voting for. None of that even matters, man. It's everybody's soul and spirit. If we are actually, you know, placed in a position that's supposed to be higher and helping, that's what's supposed to happen. And those who have been making it hard for everybody, those are the ones that's being moved out the way. Hell no, people weren't ready for it. And I don't blame people that have been, you know, but I, I I don't see myself, you know, sitting somewhere 30, 40, 50 years in a bind because somebody feels like they could blackmail or they could secretly record footage and, you know, oh, it will destroy your life or, you know, they could sell you fake drugs or tap into your bank accounts, move money, um, cancel reservations. Um, speak to people around where you live that try to make you look bad and, you know, put stories together about their own assumptions because, you know, they might see nine, ten people walk out your apartment. Like, why? I don't I don't get it. Who the hell gave y'all the okay go? Somebody could be real talented in music. And, and we need that, too. I was thinking about that earlier before I hopped on. Okay? Because, like I said, it's real-life talent out here. You know, the movies suck nowadays. I don't know if people still... You know, I watch a lot of the old, old school, and I listen to a lot of old school music because I, I already know, you know, what's being used to lead something that ain't going to happen anyway. But it's a lot of people you talented... Man, I start recording. I remember people used to record their stuff on their phones, cassette tapes, and you know what I'm saying? Like, start making a way to do something yourself, okay? Because somebody needs that. One of your high notes or one of your your bars could literally save somebody's life. And I had to keep telling myself that, too, because I'm like, I'm, I'm over it. Even listening to certain people that I know been in my energy and has done the most in the industry, like, y'all, y'all do too much. But there's some people out here that got talent. And I'm talking about if it's directing, art, singing, dancing, um, anything artistic. Okay? I'm not talking about the lawyers, doctors, judges, and all that yet. But those who are, are really artistic, that are creative, I feel like it's our time. Because they've been stealing it anyway, doing the wrong stuff with it. Um, and then, you know, backdooring different resources. Or making certain people feel like they nobodies that's keeping them from showcasing their talent. There's people that probably didn't, you know, pass over with books of ideas that somebody was like, hey, let me go ahead and see if I can do it. Let me put her shoes on. Let me see if I can put his coat on. Put his hat on. And his own on. Like, I don't know why people thought that, you know, mm -mm. So you got something about rock and roll coming up again? Um, also speaking on the poor, okay? A lot of people, and even me, because I'm so forever grateful, even knowing about hidden cameras and, you know, you know, I'm so over it. But it's like those that wanted certain people homeless because there are some homeless people on the streets, boy, that you will be so blown away by. Not only by their hearts and the beauty of their souls, but just the connection that they have to God, the most have. Because you don't know, a lot of them people could have been on the same path or trying to do something, you know, that they wanted to do in their life purpose. But they was driven away or shunned out or talked about or falsely charged or, you know, pressed to the point where they had to suppress themselves with different um, addictions. You know, missing out on education because maybe they just couldn't get there or they didn't have anywhere to go and take a bath and be clean for the next day. So they go and they get talked about because they stink, their feet stink, their socks ain't been washed in two weeks, but they have been walking on a mission for God. But they just gave up because, you know, wasn't nobody going to get it when nobody ready to get it yet. It's a scary feeling, but I do. 
what I can. Um, ain't, ain't none of this been easy for me, accepting, you know, the type of things that I had to go through in order to say enough is enough. Having more faith in others than myself, and not, no, they was just like, this bitch ain't shit. <laughs> Let's just keep pressing her through the most. God damn, she ain't dead yet. Dang, she still believe in God. Fuck, she still she's teaching herself. So you have something about eggs again, okay? And then I tell y'all to watch them because it's like they're gonna disappear, then come back, and then we eating uh, reptile eggs or uh, psychological something. You know what I'm saying? It's not even an edible. We just you know watch what you're purchasing. Uh, something about detention too. Somebody could have been dealing with their child in detention. And this was another thing that I was talking about. I don't know why eight ball came out, but okay. Um, is when our children are, we do trust. Some people are starting to do what, you know, I was speaking about last year because I know that I had started my process of doing it, getting up, teaching my son. We're doing different math problems and, you know, working on stuff and me learning again because I suck at math and he's actually great in math. But, um, you know, homeschooling because it's still... You know, trusting when we send our children out that they're not actually dealing with these lunatics that are on their last limb simply because they being weighed right now, you know. And I don't, I don't trust them. I want to. Um, it's what it is. It's, it's, it's like literally not able to trust that whatever knowledge that they're supposed to have. Not only it's, it's this is, you know. Um, separating the knowledge they're supposed to have of they self, they land, they heritage, but this is literally just the, the basics of, you know, writing, reading, math, science, whatever. But, you know. Yeah, lightning came up again. Um, I don't know. So we're just going to, I guess, pull some cords, y'all. I ain't mean to go on late, but, you know, the shock of it all is the shock of it, shock of it all. Once you start to experience a new level of life um, simply by opening up your heart, um, you know, accepting things for what they are and then accepting the truth, um, you'll see this is why a lot of people do things for people, okay? It, it's no way that you can get to a certain level of life and feel like you don't have to do for people because we are the all. We all, we all. All right, this is going to be a little, a little long, but I guess I got it out of the way. Like I said, this will, I didn't do the signs, and I actually love them, um, but it came in strong this morning, and I hope I was able to articulate in the simplest terms what I be talking about, but uh, yeah, it's like death, death of yourself to be full of Christ. And when I said it yesterday, and I actually got that message a couple, what was the last week? It was like, yeah, you, you're small, but God is big in you. You can be used. Everybody else can use your ass. So let somebody, let God use you to do something, you know, for the all, for the we. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, that's most definitely karma. What goes around, come around on top of the deck. So, and I keep getting the circle of life, the way things are supposed to be, um, and the way that you know everybody has just been kicking it on along is not going to work. Okay, so you got something coming up about the Beverly Hills, different privileged societies, um, Hayside rednecks, different people that are rich, hillbilly families, different families, and I feel like the only division there was the um, how can I say this nicely, was the conditioning of, hey, you're better than this, this certain group of people, or, hey, you know, this is what it is, or whatever, okay, but this is what's coming out, I don't nobody feel no way, but you got, yeah, something about different privileged societies here, also this farmland keep coming out, because it's also hayside, okay, so I don't know if you have horses, um, somebody could live on the hills, but this is let go of their ego for Momo. 
the stiff Vato. Okay, so um, yeah, something coming up about bus drivers. Okay, we've been seeing, like I just spoke on about the schools. You know that it's a spiritual experience. So when certain people are catching their own karma at home or whatever, they won't come to work with an attitude. Also dealing with some of these children. Y'all know how it goes. Um, something's coming up about bus drivers, sewer workers. Okay, you know, if you if you know, you know, you already experienced it. Um, different friend struggles, okay? Somebody could be moving on up from bottom to top. If you're switching lanes, yes, you, it's going to be certain tension around you, okay? People are going to be blown away about, hey, I witnessed her or him go through some of the most craziest, drastic, hard-filled bull, but they still trying to find a way to pull it up. You know, and not necessarily strike it rich because who really give a fuck about all this money? If you're not doing nothing with it, then you already know right now that, it, you know, that doesn't value happiness or health or a ticket to heaven. So you have something about um, having patience and moving up here. Okay. Also, not being a follower of crime. You usually see something happen within your community. Certain people have, like I said, on the land. Um, the way that things are set up, you'll see a crime happen. You might even see somebody get away with it, but you start to like, hey, you processing this as this is something that I'm supposed to be doing. So let me get on the bandwagon of doing it. And then the problem has been that this, the, the behavior of doing these things have been compensated and backed by money um, of the wicked. So, you know, it could be spiritually intoxicating uh, if you doing something you're supposed to be doing, but you getting away with it. And you're getting paid on top of that. Okay, so something about vantage points, a police investigation, um, something about prosecutor, prosecutors, police, and in the court. Okay, so I don't know. This could be something that's going to be in current headlines here um, about the followers of crime, mental and spiritual intoxication. Okay, so mentally and spiritually, to me, it's the same thing. Um, you know, cause somebody could have been intoxicated by a certain ignorance or seeing how it's, you know, it is intoxifying. You'll see some ignorance being compensated or you see ignorance, you know, majority of the time, more over the positive stuff, you're going to go ahead and follow and jump, you know, jump on the ship. Um, impaired vision. So it's coming back up about seeing with your, your, um, third eye. Okay. Also drinking, um, not having cloudy thoughts, learning how to retain your own energy supply, um, control your emotions, also feeding yourself spiritual knowledge on top of knowledge, okay? And you will receive some wisdom. So you have your five, your five senses are coming up. Um, most of them could be m misleading and evil grows out of ignorance, okay? So this is hermetic teaching, basically. There's no truth in something that somebody has been seeing, Simply because they have been receiving gratification and stability from the under under. Yeah, you got all five. So this is coming out about your senses again. Okay. They don't really speak on um, the spiritual sense, but I'm just going to say what you hear, what you see, what you smell, what you touch. Um, yeah, it's really important. So we got, um, the five vain powers. Okay. Getting rid of five vain powers. Once again, this is let go of that ego. Five vain powers. This is a vigor, sensation, um, covering, anger, and calculating. You also have the five stars, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Venus, and Mercury. You can look these up, too, if you're into astrology or something like that, but I don't get to, you know, I'm just speaking on it. Yeah, there is a, a completion, okay? There will be, like, no more, I don't know if it's, like, a loophole or something. I need to get these out of here. It's an empty one. <sighs> Wake me up before you go, go. You got wham, bam. 
So I guess it's no more wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You know, they've been like going through the spiritual drive through getting fast food, fast spiritual food. Okay. Also something about your food. Um, also watching who we connecting with sexually. Okay. Do walk that thing, Lauren Hill. So you have to do walk that thing. Some guys, some guys are only about that thing. You got summer rain, get wet, cleanse. Who's that, Carl Thomas? <clears throat> All right, so what's this? Another lie that's coming out. And I feel like it was, I got a peep at uh, Hawk, so some type of experimentation or something. Um, like a spirit of anger or I feel like a wrath at this point is already covering all that like yeah this is something about uh, somebody that could be like you know a tugboat just tugging pulling you your energy what you're going through um, simply because you was in a wimpy state okay you could be a real sweet person like I said I got a uh, Sweet water, again, sweet tea. Somebody could have felt like you was wimpy. You wasn't consecrated from people because you have olive oil here. Olive oil here. Um, whoever this is could have been, you know, popping back and forth up in your life, um, seeing if your third eye was activated or if you were starting to see spiritually. Okay, so you got Popeye here. This is also somebody that could be seen as a bully, um, only coming in to see, you know, if they could pull at you again. I got the army and the navy, cash money is the army, the navy, something about cash money, navy, mystic, psychology, um, the universe is mental, mind, changing the conditions of the universe, mind, control of the gross of physical conditions, elements of nature, the production of cessation, I got to figure out how to say that word, a tempest, physical phenomenon, okay, so... This is not necessarily you, you know, da -da -da -da, showcasing all that you are all at once um, to prove a point. Yeah, and that's crazy. You got earth signs came out again. So this could be an earth sign that I'm really talking to for this full moon. Let go of the ego for Momo. A stiff battle. So it could be a stiff um, brother, friend, or somebody. Like I said, I picked up. This could also be somebody, too, that's very talkative or, you know, they want somebody to listen. But this is so you can listen to maybe some gossip. Somebody only comes around because you have a car or a way of getting them back and forth. And that's another thing. You know, some people will lose a vehicle simply if they around this same energy. Somebody basically wants you to shut up. Don't tell them what they're doing is wrong or, you know, they want you to keep stroking their ego. But they want you to be like a getaway driver. Always constantly, you know providing back and forthness and then listening to them when they gossiping about different people. Maybe you want to pull away from that energy too. I'm going to get a couple more. I'm ready to do some other reads. Something also too coming up about an island. Like I said, land. Um, I don't know if, you, whatever you're doing on the land. Okay, so you have fight the power of public enemy. Okay, you could have been feeling like public enemy right now. Um, having to speak up. Also, things that's been going on around your land. Uh, different corrupt species, uh, vain energy, using your senses, all of them, connecting to the cosmos, your ancestors, the most high, God, um, seeing different animals too. I don't know why somebody could be seeing like new animals, different animals. I don't know why you got a boy band, a grouper. Step by step, day by day. I don't know why it's got step by step, new kids on the block. So yeah, somebody could actually be coming from Colombia or you know, outside the country, and you could be feeling like public enemy, uh, but you have investigations out here, something about elite branch and state police, somebody that only answers to the governor only, okay, this could go back to what's going on, um, you got the four governors of elements, so I don't know if this is certain people to do certain, whatever they're doing, um, against certain families, okay? So you got a successful black family out here. This is a two-parent home, um, maybe two or more children, okay? There's a functioning, loving loving household with college kids. Could be a doctor, lawyer, or therapist, whoever this is. Maybe, let's see. Yeah, somebody could be straight-laced. 
You know, this is um, somebody could actually be grilling with a propane tank or something about propane. You got a salesman, you got Texas. Okay, you got emotional support and relaxation here. Lay your head on my pillow. So, yeah, just relax. Okay, that's Tony, Tony, Tony. There's some emotional support here. And I feel like Earth signs, it could be, you know, you not no longer being clouded. Once you start this, you know, ring of love, maybe to come back to you more than you thought. Okay. Also, this lock came back up. So maybe somebody needs to change their lock. I'm not sure if it's a passcode on your actual property. Um, but you do have somebody um, that could be getting some charges. This could also be a lawyer. Um, it could be a lawyer or it could be somebody else. Y'all take it how it go. Something about associates that's uh, defending clients. Hmm. Yeah, somebody could have actually defended like um, their lover or a client that they was already connected to. Okay, and this could have brought back, this could have actually, um, you know, if someone didn't go down for a criminal charge that they didn't do, this is like somebody that actually did a crime, but they got away with something and maybe somebody else had took the charges because these two people were sleeping together here. Yeah, somebody has been through like a lot. Um, it's like almost a part of an operation. So operation, you got operation spirit alone maybe you could be taking some alone time like i said i did pick up that somebody is sitting in some dark energy um you could have dealt with some type of physical emotional abuse okay a lot of us probably have it's not coming up to about a step a public step or something in the public around the steps yeah but you have life-changing events are coming um enemies are taking losses you're gonna see different lovers somebody could have like several lovers it's a large city here. You got Port Charles, New York. Um, something about a diner, a waterfront, and also a criminal underworld. Um, yeah, it could be a hospital that's going to be under judgment. It's like whatever this hospital been doing, they connected to somebody. I don't know. It was, it was families and friends connected within a certain hospital. Yeah, you keep getting all these police. You got police, the forest, um, in and around Mississippi. Okay, so it's going to be some life-changing events here. I'm going to pull out of this energy because, you know, that's what it is. But, yeah, continue to work on all your chakras, you know, staying balanced and grounded, enjoying life the way that you can. That was pretty on one this morning. Uh, hopefully the next one will be a little lighter, but hope you get the message.